Hey yo everybody, welcome to and welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yes, this time it's just the one game because, well, I really wanted to play as KD today. Also, hello menu, how are you doing over there? I didn't want to check any of those, but I guess I just wanted to say hi too. <laughs> Anyways, that's what we're gonna do today. Now I'm gonna close my eyes and just press the uh, press button, the plus button, not the press button. See what skin I get? No idea. But if it ends up being a vanilla skin, I'm going to laugh pretty hard. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well today. And we got Black and White. Okay, good, good, good. okay let's go. Also, hello, King K. You gotta get out of here, boy, because I am the only king around here. Not you. <laughs> At least he's gonna be an epic battle. At least I think. I don't know, we'll see. Also, like how it just tried to, like, cannon us. I don't know why it was, but sure, we'll go with it. Now, we gotta get this. We gotta get. This gun, okay. I don't know what about seeing DDD with a gun just makes me laugh. <laughs> but it do. Also, just realized we are literally just on the Wind Waker area. I don't know why I decided to bring us off of the ship right at the beginning of this episode. But you know what? It's fine. And oops, that was the wrong way. Oh, uh, what? What's happening here? I, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not complaining. Because we just won. <laughs> what a way to start. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. Right now, the weather is actually a little bit cloudy, but it's also nice and bright. It's also getting warm out, because obviously, you know, summer is upcoming, and summer is already here, which is crazy, because my birthday is actually coming up on the 22nd, and I'm looking forward to that, because I'm getting sushi for dinner. <laughs> and, okay. Well, apparently, talking about summer and stuff that just destroyed it, Roy and Marth like that. Cool. We take it. <laughs> and now things are getting a bit harder. But yeah. Anyways, I was gonna say that I really like the weather that we have here because I like rainy weather, but I don't like it when, you know, it's there constantly. Which unfortunately it actually has been over the past week or so. It's just been like really rainy. So we take days like this, which is just cloudy, a little bit cool, just really nice weather. And what's your guys' favorite weather? I know that's one of those topics that are kind of like, you know, I would say cliche, I don't know why I would say cliche, but it's a very basic question to ask, but it's something I'm curious about. And, hey, thanks, Jacqueline, I think, unless that's Alucard, I couldn't really tell which one that was. But, yeah, y'all know mine now. <laughs> Wanna know about yours. But also another thing upcoming, well, at least upcoming for me currently, because tomorrow is Father's Day, do you guys have any Father's Day plans, or did you guys have any Father's Day plans, I should say, because it is Wednesday, but we're actually uploading this, so obviously, you know, it left. Unless you guys don't have Father's Day on Saturday, because I know not every place around the world has Father's Day and Mother's Day as the same, you know, date. But for me, I took my dad out for lunch, or we're going to at least. It's really weird talking about, like, future stuff in past tense, <laughs> but it's because it only is going to be in the past. But for work, we have the lucky day thing going on because we work, well, I work in a cafe slash farmer's market, and we're having a free barbecue meal there. My dad really likes barbecue, so we're going to be taking him out there. It's going to be really nice. I'm looking forward to doing that. And now it's King Bowser and his son. It's too bad King DDD doesn't have a son. Like, imagine a really cute little baby penguin. It's like, my heart. So, oh, I get to say Bowser, were you just gonna, like, yeet yourself there? I would've, that would've been really fun to watch. <laughs> would've been too bad for you. Oh, your son almost got out of here. But not quite. Yes, you get up, your boy. Okay, that's not what I wanted, though. Oh, no. But now we got this, and hopefully they won't get it. Oh, okay, well, Bowser got done. Not... <laughs> not Bowser Jr. or Baby Bowser? Okay, it's Bowser Jr. I know sometimes it is- Oh, and he would have if we hadn't gotten killed first. That is so sad. But you know what? Tis fine. Because you're actually doing really good. Surprisingly, because I don't actually really know how to play with DDD. But also, I think after this, since I usually play against NPCs, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do Midnight's Classic Mode and see what it's gonna be like with that. And 
I like how we're fighting against so many kings over here. <laughs> so we got, you know, obviously Ganondorf, King, or the, or the Prince, depends on the game, of demons. We can love them. Now we got that drill. Goodbye, Ganondorf. It was nice to see you for a moment. <laughs> uh, and what do you think guys his favorite character? I know that I've talked about, you know, favorite character to play as, but does it necessarily mean it's a favorite character in the you know, franchise and you know, the different games? Because for me, I don't really play as him that much, but one of my favorite characters is Ganondorf. I don't know why, I've just always liked the dude. And of course, the classic Link slash Young Link slash whatever other versions and Sheik. But I also really love Meta Knight and of course I love King DDD, otherwise I would have to call him my boy. Because he is my boy. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just curious to see what you guys' favorite character slash characters are. And there's also a few other characters that I like, but right now, since we're going through here, I can't really think of much. Because I'm also really bad with remembering which characters are actually in the series. <laughs> so does that. Oh, I also really like Snake. I used to play a lot of him in Brawl. I think it was Brawl who was introduced. Yes, it was. Because you used to breakdance a lot with him and Sheik. Well, breakdance would be quote air quotes, which you guys can't see. Also, sorry for bumping the mic there. <laughs> so yeah, just that. And hey, Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Do you guys consider these guys being royalty? Because I don't know if it's Smash 1 is the same case, but I know it's the kid, or at least I believe it's the kid's hand that you're playing as. Not playing as, but you're playing against or you're fighting. I also don't really know how this battle's going to go as DDD, because so far it's not going very good. But we do our good best here. <laughs> but yes, you stay there, crazy hand. As I slipped like there's a banana. Dude, don't just middle finger us. I do appreciate that. <laughs> I you know it's not actually, but it kind of looks like that. So it's like, dude, it's not appropriate. You could at least just do like the finger gun. That would have been better. Oh, now it's trying with like the Tron thing. No, that's too bad that Tron isn't in, you know, Smash. I don't know why, because it's not really a video game character. But at the same time, it would have been interesting just to see how that would have worked. Ah, we got sucked into the Vortex for once. I don't think we actually had that happen to us before. Still. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, back to the, the topic. Um, another character... I forgot which character I was going to say. There was another one I was thinking of. But, oh, this is a member. I like Master Hand and Crazy Hand, though. Better say that. <laughs> I love just glitching out, you know, melee and playing as, like, Giga Bowser and Master Hand and Crazy Hand. I don't think it was necessarily like Crazy Hand that you could pl glitch and play as, but still, you still love doing that. That, another question then, there's, there's lots of questions in here, but it's all because if you don't want to answer one question, at least there's other questions that you might be interested in, you know, doing. But what should, what just did you like to do for like melee and stuff like that if you used to glitch them? If not, then obviously you don't need to answer the question. So my goodness, now it's time for it to get a little bit more intense because, well, they're almost done, but we are also almost done though. Uh, it's too bad we can't, like, attack him from afar like that. Then uh, it's too bad this is where we just lose all our progress. But you know what, that's fine, at least we got back to close. And, for once, it looks like he actually beats a boss of us, no! What? Get out of here. Get out of here, crazy hand. <laughs> but there's that out of the way, but now it's time to go over to midnight. <laughs> Which probably won't go as well, but we'll see about that. For all we know, it could just be a calling and be like, yes, play as Meta Knight. But here we go. And looks like we're playing as white-skinned Meta Knight, which actually looks really nice. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why, but... <laughs> You know, seeing characters like Meta Knight and, you know, Peach and Zelda and stuff like that on white outfits just makes me think of weddings. But not all characters, though. And I know that black is also weddings in some cultures. At least I think cultures. I don't remember. But I know some people use black as that. It sounds like, um, I was said funeral. I was said weddings. Instead of weddings, yes. Even though we're talking about weddings to begin with. <laughs> oh, well. Just... Dude also looks like a Digimon, but I believe it's from Monster Hunter, at least what it looks like. 
but also good by two links. <laughs> Man, I really want to play as Link again. I love that dude. <laughs> He's just so cute. So she if you like you use only link only links just like chef's kiss. But also goodbye uh, pit? No, goodbye dark pit. Literally just yeeted himself off the edge. I don't really know how. Because I always just focus on getting to your pit and then that just happened for us. <laughs> oh boy. Pit. Rude. <laughs> but it's also my fault though, so I can't complain that well. He's I wasn't paying attention to what he had. Boy, I hope you just like, get yourself off, just like, dark bit. That would be fun. That would be funny for us. And now, let's see if we could do the same thing to you, what you did to us. Probably not, but you know what, that's fine. Yeah, get out of here. No, you're not supposed to do that. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, yes, I love it. And this item, I believe it was the item for Scarab Sword. It looked like the Gust Jar. I believe it's what it's called. I know it has so many names in different areas. Also, which area is this in? It looks like it's going to be a part of a uh, fire emblem area. I'm not really sure. Also, don't know what this is going to do. Oh, is this going to do that? I'm so sorry if that ended up causing any issues. So it's also like flashing lights, which is not good for me. That made me feel not so good. But still. <laughs> So my eyes are annoyingly dry too, because since it's getting dry weather, my eyes are just like, ow, and then irritated. Plus allergies on top of that, which makes me want to rub my eyes all the time. I sorry about the about the balls, because speaking of parents, or speaking of data is, my parents just got back home, because they were out for a little bit, and I also just wanted to feed the cat, since it's 5 o'clock right now, and that's usually his feeding time, and he's just been sitting here just like, bruh. Can you feed me, please? But very cutely, like, he's a very polite cat. Like, sometimes he isn't, sometimes he's just like, bruh, feed me, like, right now, but he's never demanding. Unless we're already downstairs, or, and or he really wants to have cuddles. Because he'll actually demand cuddles more than, like, actual food. At least for me, I don't know if it's the same with my parents, because obviously, I am not them, and... I'm not usually around by the time he starts coupling with them, but still. <laughs> you gotta love cats, you gotta love dogs, you gotta love pets. It's just so nice having them, but of course I know not everybody wants to have pets or can have pets, but, you know, for those who do, you know, you'll feel me. <laughs> also, just realized that was also Captain Falcon. It was also the other character that I was thinking of that I really, really like. He's also my boy. As you can't tell, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I also constantly talk to him and refer him as my boy. And man, I just miss playing him. Maybe that's what I, the character I should play as next time is this Captain Falcon. Unless we did that already, I don't really remember. Also, hello Lucas. I, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying my best to just survive and I'm not really doing that. But you know what? It's fine. <laughs> All that matters is that I'm trying and we're somehow managing to do so. <laughs> and I'm not complaining. I also like that limo in the background. I'm guessing this is a Mother 3 level or based off of a Mother 3 level. Because we see Porky and stuff like that. But it also says Porky Empire. So maybe this would be for a side if he was able to build upon his empire, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so that's interesting. And also... Really think how how much like Earthbound would change if you know Porky had actually kept going and we hadn't have stopped him. Also, just noticed that Dark Samus just hit Samus, so I'm pretty sure they could actually just fight each other. Which I might just let them just do their own thing down there. It makes it easy for us. There we go. Did he even realize that there was actually you know possible for classic mode? I thought it was always always just like them having a, a team and it's not that they can actually hit each other. So that's interesting. Now get back down here to Earth Samus. It's another character that I actually started enjoying to play because I'm still trying to figure out which characters are best for me and I noticed Dark Samus is actually one of those characters that I was able to pick up rather easily and just like to play as. And Roy of course, which is a surprise because usually it's Mars, at least from you know, what I've been playing with you guys, it's usually just been Marth and not really Roy, even though there's not much difference. But in this game, it actually feels like they're somewhat different, which is really interesting just 
pick it up and see the, the very slight differences, but the differences that are actually there. I have to pick this up. There we go. And I have no idea which character that is, but I'm hoping that it'll destroy Dark Samus for us. Ayo and do. Thanks, character. <laughs> so I couldn't even see what they looked like, <laughs> but that's fine. Now I think there's two more levels left now. There is. Uh oh, we're actually fighting against Metalates. And I believe this pink skin is from Galactic Knight, something like that. Another one of those characters that are similar to Kirby, much like Morph or Morpho as well. <laughs> I like how we're literally just doing the same moves. Interesting. And also, like, that's right, you could actually use the B sides, the B moves, not the B sides. But shit, anyways, I've never actually played the games that he's in. But I do have one of them, which is so fun for the 3DS, the robot one, which I keep forgetting to play, and I've been meaning to actually play that. Because it looks really fun. And it was also gifted for me for Christmas, I believe, or my birthday. It's been a while, and my memory is really bad for, you know, just like a couple of months, like years. I just remember getting it, and, well, being happy about it, because I love Kirby. <laughs> Okay, good, we are still alive. I was like, are we dying? Because all these Meta Knights are really confusing me. Also, just realized this is also Dark Meta Knight, which I believe is in one of the games. So, I like that. It's, I don't know if it's going to be that in the Kirby stories that he fights against them or not. I don't know. But I think it's really interesting how this different skins. And it's too bad, you know, this game came out before the new Kirby game, because it would have been interesting to see a the skin from, you know, the recent secret boss from, you know, Forgotten Land, which mentioned obviously Morph, just to see how that would have looked. And I'm pretty sure it would have looked really cool, but who knows, because obviously the pink skin, aka, you know, Galactic Knight or whatever his name is, skin wasn't perfect, because he didn't have, I think his horn? There's something that was missing in the skin that would have actually been on the actual character. Ow. I actually ran into that for once. I don't don't usually do, so that's kind of interesting. Also, I really like the feel of Meta Knight. I picked them up. Of course I like DD because, well, I was a little bit more used to actually playing him. But Meta Knight's also it's kind of fast. It's just a matter of actually getting to learn his combinations. But I can see you myself playing as him in the future. Or at least just try my best to. <laughs> so I'm not gonna bother trying to get up there because I know that I'm not going to be able to in time because it was already catching up to us. The scary void. I also don't really know what would happen if we had gotten stuck in that void. I don't think this actually ever happened. Like, would we have lost our points or would it have just thrown us onto this level? I don't know. Does anybody actually know that? Also, sad that once again, it's just Crazy Hand and Master Hand. Really wish there was more variety to it, other than just having these two. Like, if you're just adding like a Battle of Ganon or another kind of boss fight from another game would have just been pleasing. But you know what? I can't complain. I'm sure they, they ran out of ideas or something, or maybe there's less limits for when they, you know, they couldn't. Well, goodness, they are just trying to do CPR on an RP live person. I'm glad that they didn't just, like, destroy Meta Knight, though. Because <laughs> that would have been real life. But, no, no, this isn't real life, obviously. Oh, no, he's gonna throw his temper tantrum. I can't tell if that's Crazy Hand or Mastery Hand that was just on the ground there, but you know what? This is fine. That's yeah, Crazy Hand, okay. Cool. Sometimes it's Mastery Hand on this side, sometimes it's, you know, uh, sometimes it's, it's Crazy Hand. I don't know what I was trying to say. I was trying to say things and we're somehow still alive. Don't know how, but we're probably going to get destroyed before we can actually do anything here. Oh, well, there's spats around on the ground, so we take that. We're just going to keep on just trying our best here. That's all we could really do. <laughs> how do you guys feel about, you know, Master Hand and Crazy Hand being, I would say, 80% of this? And it, I guess it makes sense why it would, because once you keep it, well, literally classic, is pretty sure it's been a Master Hand since the first Smash game. Could be wrong though, because I never actually played the first Smash game. I've played all the other ones, but not that one. I was gonna say, if we had survived that, I would have been pretty, 
I would have been pretty surprised, not pretty survived. <laughs> but you know what? Double. We go with it. We go with mouth verbals. Mouth verbals. We go with mouth typos because they are funny sometimes. Sometimes they're not annoying, but most of the times, I just don't care about them. And again, Tron. Or books, because weirdly enough, they look like books. Now, get out of here. Can you stop doing that? Stop paw pressing. That's great. Get out of your crazy hat. Smash my head aside now. <laughs> Kick. And thank you very much, Master Hand, for being patient about that. And we can actually taunt it here, I forgot about that. So I know in melee, you can actually taunt when to get defeated. And I don't know if it's the same in a Brawl and Smash 4, slash 3D, slash Wii U, whatever you actually call it. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's kind of fun. Forget about it sometimes. You can just do that, have fun. <laughs> but anyways, with that, they got two in one. I also really like King Dedede's theme. Too bad we don't hear it here, but it makes sense because, well, we play as Mennonite, not DDD. I also thought he was playing DK's theme for whatever the background, but oh, uh, anyways. So I actually leave it here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Slap the subscribe button. Save that like down in the comments down below. Do what you do, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, so we got clowned with you, clowned music. Cool. <laughs>